Hey guys, what's up? It's Finch here. Today we're lettering Yu Yu. Yes, that's correct. This is Yu Yu. You do see Aegis Slash, Tyranitar, Drakian, and Kyurem in the Force Force slots of my teams. That doesn't matter. We're playing Yu Yu nonetheless. We're at the bottom of the ladder, so we're going to be getting some more fun games as opposed to serious games, which is fine. Um, I'm using a Life Orb, Aegis Slash with three attacks and King Shield. Um, Stealth Rack, Tyranitar, a Life Orb, Sword Chance, Drakian, Specs, Kyurem, Sword Chance, Facade Heracross, and a Sticky Web, Bombi. Just kind of threw some stuff together. I figured it'd be cool. Looks like we're against someone, um, James2341, who's 11.02. Okay. He's using Skarmory and Blissey and Drakian and Karam. So he's using some of the new Pokemon as well. It's pretty dope. Um, let's go ahead and lead off with our um, Tyranitar here. Um, he leads Incineroar. All right, that's great. We can get Rocks of turn one. I don't think it's close combat, but we do have the Choppleberry on this set. Help. We live um, a Life Orb close combat from Major Slash always and a non Life Orb or Bandit close combat from Drakian with this set. So yeah, it's pretty lit, I'd say. Um, anyway. Um, definitely interested to see how this tier develops. Um, a lot of cool things going on. Yeah, I'm trying to rely on um a bit less, but unfortunately, it kind of comes to when you're playing tiers you're not super familiar with. So yeah, anyway, looking at my team here, he's actually going for a fake out, okay. I'm going to be able to make a lot of progress with my Aegis Slash, the mix set. Close combat's really good for Incineroar and Blissey. Shadow Ball nukes everything else, although Iron Head is able to one-shot the, um, Trakion. He goes for a slower U-turn, that's cool. I'm a little bit quicker than it, so yeah, I'm able to hit like I'm thinking like one or two basically more than that. So yeah, he goes Skarm. All right, we're gonna um, we're not gonna taunt it. So we're just gonna go to the uh, Kyurem here and try and maybe hope he doesn't go Blissey, particularly when it might be like physical or something. He goes Rocks. Either way, we're just gonna fire off the Specs Ice Beam here. Even if he go goes Blissey, it's fine. It's still gonna do a lot of damage. So yeah, might even force recover. He goes and stays and it just dies. Oh my God, Kyurem is a menace to society and under you. Get this Mon back in OU right now. Holy cow. All right, he goes Trakion. We're going to go ahead and go to our Aegis Slash here. If he goes Earthquake, he goes Earthquake. This is a good play. I got to tip your cap. He misses Stone Edge. All right, that's helpful. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and go for a close combat here, predicting the Incineroar, or him to stay in, or him to go Blissey, you know, or him to go Kyurem. Any of them work. Close combat gets a kill here, almost definitely. Yup, and it does kill the Incineroar after he takes Stealth Heart damage, so he's not going to be heavy duty boots. That is interesting there. But um, anyway, it's chill. We got a lot of damage off there. We're making a lot of progress with some Pokemon that really should not be in the UU tier. Um, definitely. It goes in Talion here. All right, we're just going to go for the King Shield. I don't mind if he goes for whatever move. Um, he goes Snapshot. Okay. Um, we have minus one defense. Um, oh, minus one attacked. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're just going to go Shadow Ball. If he creates a secret, he goes Trap. Well, okay, buddy. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. We're just going to go for the King Shield here. Um, hopefully it's not Earthquake, but if he is, it's chill. Um, he probably predicted us to go to Kyurem. See, that's fine. Um, all right, he is Earthquake. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and go to our Bombi here, predicting to be choice. Um, give me them Sticky Webs. Yeah, and he goes for Earthquake. That's Bandit, I think. So we're just going to go for the Sticky Web now. Oh, we're going to Moonblast to threaten it out first. Because we should be quicker than the Italian. Yeah, and he goes Blissey. That's fine. We can go Sticky Webs here. Yup. Um, all right, looks pretty good here. Um, definitely confident in this game for sure, but there's a lot more games that we're going to be playing after this one as well. We're going to try and get like four or five games to showcase the new Pokemon more thoroughly. He's over predicting a little bit. We get to kill and track in here. It looks good. Um, yeah. All right. He's going to just forfeit there. I'm going to pause until the next game starts. All right. We're back. Um, we're against BTTER. I'm not sure if it's bitter or better what he's trying to do, but it's fine. Uh, he's got a Hatterene, so we're going to have to be careful with our webs. Looks like he's kind of got like a random mishmash Pokemon. It's fine. Um, you know, it's good against all of them. Aegis Slash. So we're going to go ahead and lead with it. He goes Pink Urchin. Ah, damn. We can't really beat this 1v1. We're going to go Kyurem, though. It can't really kill us. Um, I just don't want to kill it. I don't want to leave it at healthy at like one shot and then like it kill us with Rising Voltage. So yeah. And Kyurem looks mad good against this team as well. We could just go for Earth Power right off the bat. And it should be able to clock this and the Aegis Slash, which is amazing. She's probably going to go Rising. Oh, he goes Stun. Oh, problem. All right, it's fine. We're just going to go for the Earth Power here. It looks really great against this team. Hopefully he doesn't go to Hatterene predicting um, the Earth Power or predicting the Draco. Um, I, I hope he goes Aegis Slash. So yeah, we're going for the Earth Power here. Um, it's pretty solid against this team. He goes Weezing. All right, well, that's going to... Actually, he's not neutralizing. Well, I don't know. That's fine. Um, we'll just go for the Ice Beam now. He can't kill us with his range team, so yeah. Just don't fly Paralyzed, please. Ice Beam's going to do a million. Yeah, Ice Beam just one-shots it. Oh, my God. That Weezing got deleted from the timeline. Holy crap. And that was a counter to Heracross, yeah. Anyway, he goes Polyrath. It's chill. We're going to go ahead and go to Bombi here. He goes close combat. That's fine. We get them. We're going to go for a uh, U-turn here, actually predicting the Hatterene. Actually, we'll go Moonblast. It's a little louder. I don't want to mess around at all. Um, 
Yeah, so Moonblast is going to do a nice chip to anything and it'll kill the Polyrath as well. Um, unfortunately, if he goes Aegis Slash, that's annoying, but we'll just take it out if he goes Aegis Slash, no big deal. Um, he goes Pink Urchin. Alright, give me a Tokyo here. So I like to see. He's Train Extender, that's cool. Alright, let's go with Moonblast again here. He's, I'm scared about him going Hatterene on it with Stick Web because then we just lose the game. Alright, there we go. That's what I like to see. Um, so yeah, we're up to 6 4 now. Looking pretty good. I don't think we've lost a Pokemon yet, which is kind of funny. He's using a hyper offensive team, so generally we tend to trade Pokemon. But yeah, we'll take it. He goes Claw. Alright, we'll just go Stick You Up, then that's fine. Um, I'd rather get him slowed down, you know. Chip on this would be helpful, but I it's terrain. Oh, that's actually really cool. Yo. Teched out. My man is teched out. Anyway, we're gonna go Terrakia in here. And something's just dying here. I mean, close combat. There's no way this man lives in close combat from a life orb track. And get out of here. Get out of here. You already know what happened. That closer is gone. See you next game, buddy. Um, he should be able to live a hit with his Aegis Lash, Polyrath. Um, is Polyrath healthy? He goes Hatterene. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and um, go for a Stone Edge here. The 75. All right. And now we should be able to take this out with the knockoff here, hopefully. And then... Um, we should be able to get the guts and win the game. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't live. That'd be really embarrassing if it did. Not gonna lie. It's probably gonna live knowing me. Like, no? Okay, we take it out. Perfect. Now we get that guts boost, and we're gonna be able to clean the game out with the Heracross. That's delightful. All right. Um, I guess either live one hit, but I don't think we could really get one shot of anything, so yeah. It's chill. And if he goes Pyrath, then we get Swords Dance in his face. Because Belladrum, he's not gonna be quicker than everything after your Belladrum. Actually, he might. You know what? We'll just facade it. It's fine. You know what? Actually, our play is to knock off the Polyrath. Because in case he's Salic Berry. Actually, no, plus one's still slower than us. Yeah, that's fine. So you get Surge Dance in his face. And clean the game. Man's taking his time. He got two kills. It's been a valiant effort. But nah, you can't beat the OU team with the UU team. I hate to break it to you. Um, but yeah, no, it's really crazy seeing these Pokemon. So let me know what your favorite new addition to the tier is. And um, if you don't know what dropped in Rose today, then be sure to check out my video. Um, I put it up, well, I guess earlier today as I'm recording this, but yesterday as you're going to be seeing this, um, I put it up yesterday going over all the tier shifts, really cool stuff in depth. I um, I mispronounced a bunch of Pokemon's names again, which it seems to be one of the commenters' favorite things, so feel free to nip back to that galore and whatnot. Um, but yeah, no, this man's taking his time. Take your time to realize. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to break out of this song, but that, that, was, that show was a banger, guys. I mean, you know, Drake and Josh was the shit. Oh, man, back in the day, you already know. Oh, boy, you know it was on my TV. Nickelodeon all the time. <laughs> my childhood. Uh, what a time to be alive. Now, now, now we're all like crazy adults, you know, grinding it out in Pokemon Showdown. Big mod power, you know. Wow, I am on the weirdest tangent right now. <laughs> what the fuck am I even saying? <laughs> oh, boy. You know Finch has been up since like 10 a.m. after going to sleep at 6 a.m. when he starts just blabbering in the middle of his narrations. There's no coherent thoughts going through my head right now. We're on some other shit. He's probably going to go about up close combat. Okay, that might be banded. All right, it's fine. You know what they say about Polyrath? I don't, because they're freaking dead. All right, now you have to stand and die. Otherwise, that whole joke just completely bounces. If we see some, like, freak accident where the Polyrath lives or he goes he goes Aegis Slash, I get, like, stunted on by, like, a choice band um, Shadow Sneak after this, I'm going to look so, so dumb for that. <laughs> It's chill. No big deal. Come on, man. You're taking like two and a half years to click these moves when it is a very simple end game. You just lose. All right, there we go. See, as I said, they don't say anything because the Pyrath are just dead. Um, and then we got the Aegis last to round things out as I quickly embarrass myself more and more with the more shit I say in this narration. But yeah, anyway, so it's going to be the second game. Um, it'll take us to about. Oh, it's King Sh Oh, probably lives this then. It's fine. That'll take us to the uh, nine and a half minute mark-ish, give or take. So we could get like three more games, I'd say. It's cool. Yeah, it's 10.13 now. I kind of want to stop at 10.30. See so yeah, how it works out. It'll be a little under a half hour. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're thinking of all these tier shifts. What's your favorite UU Pokemon now? What's your least favorite new UU Pokemon? And um, hey, say the same for RU, NU, PU if you enjoy those tiers as well. What are you surprised maybe rose or didn't rise? You know, Let me know all your thoughts on this stuff in the comments. I love hearing what you guys got to say, and I love interacting with you guys. I mean... The fact that we built this channel is just amazing. And the fact that this guy's making me blabber on and on and on because he's taking forever. All right, there we go. Good game. All right, I'm going to pause till the next game starts again. All right, we're back in business, guys. We're against a team that looks like an older UU team, but it's got Dreadigon and Mianxiao. 
Also, the two grass types is kind of weird. I want to see Serena too much, but yeah, it's fine. Um, hmm. Doesn't look like he's got hazard removal outside of Serena. Um, we're going to go ahead and lead our bomb because of that. I don't think he could really kill us with one shot with anything besides maybe a choice band liquidation from this. So we're just going to go for that sticky up here. He goes for the choice band liquid. Okay, I just ate my own words. It's fine though, because look at freeze dry versus this team. Look at freeze dry. Tell me what is living this freeze dry. All right, the Vaporeon is living this freeze dry, but it's not living two of them. So I like to see. All right, nothing is saving you from this. Goes back to, okay, what are you doing? Gonna first impression me? That's fine with me. We're just gonna clean sweep this. You know, we're not switching out. I've decided we are not switching at all this game. This is a switch free game. We're just gonna kill what's in front of us. And if it kills us, it kills us. You just forfeit. Okay, well, I guess that's not gonna work out. Anyway, we're gonna pause till next game. All right, we got another game we're against Big Simp in 420. Now, this is a quality username. That's what I like to see. Nah, I'm messing with you. But we got all the threats versus this generic old UU team. I mean, you could already see what's going to happen. It looks like he has um, an Espeon. So we're going to try and bait out the Espeon with Rabambi turn one. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hold up. I'm going to peep the video right here. Let me, let me link this man to video. Um, that's how you know. You got to advertise your channel in the middle of your video. You got to stop all your damn... Valued subscribers from watching you ladder right now. And you gotta link them your video about the tier changes just so you get that one more view. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see. Alright, alright. Slugged myself in the video. <laughs> that's when you know you're on some ratchet shit. Alright, we're gonna stick up here. No one oh he's go don't go Espeon. Don't go Espeon. Do not go we are gonna lose this game if this man goes Espeon. Now he's going to Scavalier. He's going to Scavalier on my Lotic. No one goes Espeon. Trust me. Trust me. No one is going Espeon. Yes! We got the webs. It's fine. All hope is still there. All right, we can um, U turn here now. We're going to go to the Age Slash on the Iron Head. Okay, he's probably going to knock off here, so we're just going to go to track in on that knockoff. He goes, my. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Sure, I'm time. All right, that toxic is fine. We're gonna freeze dry here and something's taking a million. Even that Escavalier is gonna be taking a decent chunk. Actually, we could Drake. Oh, well, okay, he just let go of the Espeon. That's chill with me. All right, so that's one down for Kyurem. The Kyurem counter has started. Last game, I just took out all six, basically. This game, ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. Um, We're gonna go to Bombi as fodder. Yeah, he goes knockoff. It's chill. We're kind of weak to this, not gonna lie. We can Drake. Yeah, Draco, something's dying to Draco. This is not Assault Plus. Forget about it. Give me that kill. Maybe we'll go with Cavalier this time. We'll see. It's actually kind of threatening though, it's not gonna lie. So Fable is based. You're right. So Fable is based is all how. Oh boy, Clef. And it is a salt vest, so it lives, but that's fine. I don't mind that. That damage is important. Because now we go Heracross here and we could um we could take it out with the close combat. He goes melodic, and yeah, now we can um Okay, pre-guts. 140, 120, 140. Uh, maybe this kills with guts now? No, it does not. Oh, well, problem encountered. Does recover? That's fine. We could um, South Rock here. Toxic. Now we're gonna taunt him so he can't recover. Yeah, this is the genius asset right here. I tell you what, I'm on some visionary shit at the moment. Oh, he scalds. Okay, we kind of lose the flag on guys. This is not looking amazing. Not gonna lie. He goes flag. Okay, wait, wait. Yo, defog. Okay, I got. I killed the flag on, but now, now shit's fat. Okay. Way we kind of lose to this. Oh no, that ain't good. That ain't good, guys. This is looking kind of bleak. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how we're gonna beat this cavalier. Um. All right, we're gonna king shield here. Hopefully, he can only touch us with like knock. We're quicker than the melodic, so we might be able to beat that. I don't know. This looks bad. I'm not. I'm, I'm not feeling this. Actually, Meg, you know, we're gonna have King Shield. It's fine, yeah. All right, he's an he, Iron Head. Okay, that's great. So we can Shadow Ball here. I don't think he can kill us. Um, he goes my okay. My logic gets two KO. That's great. There is hope. Oh, not all hope is lost. We may just be able. Don't go. Jol okay, he goes Jolteon. That's fine. We can protect. We can King Shield here. Don't lock in a Thunderbolt. Lock in a Volt. Okay. Now I'm thinking here that Volt Switch doesn't kill us. Actually, we're mine. Especially, it probably does. What am I saying? Um. Hmm. If 
Full Switch definitely doesn't kill the Heracross, though, and Heracross gets a kill against one of these two. But Heracross also lifts Thunderbolt. Hmm. We're just gonna stay in and go for the Shadow Ball. It's fine. It doesn't take us out, so we get a free Shadow Ball off. That's amazing. Okay, he goes mid champ and fires that off. That's cool. Um, we're gonna go track on here. He goes Jolteon. Okay, so what we do here is we're gonna just we're gonna earthquake. Yeah, as to not take um, the defense drop for some reason in case it was some weird sets. I don't know. But yeah, earthquake into close combat definitely is gonna kill this. So it's fine. And now the Jolteon can't one v one both the last two Pokemon because we have the flame weapon tax. We should be fine. Just don't crit. Please don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Yo. Do not crit. It didn't crit. We won. Good game. Alright. It's cool. We're going to um, pause till the next game. Alright. Back in business again. This time around we're against Mr. Sir to you. Okay. Interesting name. This man is popping with the Aegis Loss and the Blissey. So, you know. He's up to date. Oh. I guess not. I guess not. I spoke too soon. This man is not up to date. Titar is you, you. Oh, I can't link the video, damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, let me plug myself again. Like, plug myself left and right. Peep. We're, fl we're self-plugging, guys. I'm shameless. I'm completely shameless, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to Bombi as the lead here. He goes to Raquanid. Um, That's fine. We'll straight stick you up, I guess. I always love the playing field, but it makes the Rotom Wash kind of annoying. This man's kind of bulky with that Blissey. Damn. All right. Um, we're just going to Moonblast into this. That just died. That's not good. Um, all right, we're gonna just go cure him here, and we're gonna go for the freeze dry. Hopefully, he doesn't go blissy, but if he does, it does invite in Heracross, and Heracross kind of you know picks him apart. So we'll take it. Do I want to double to Heracross here? No. I was about to cancel it and like consider it, but thank God I didn't. Um, hmm. Watch this play here. Is he gonna go Age Slash? Do we go our own Age Slash on his Age Slash? Nah, we'll go Tarx for Chapel Berry anyway. He goes, okay, he goes Bliss. That's actually amazing. So we're just going to go Heracross here. He's going to go Rocks. Tarx, okay. Sure. Trade statuses. We're going to go knock off here predicting the ages last year. There's no way this man stays in and just lets himself lose to protect. You know, we're going to close combat this. This man's not going Aegis Slash. I've decided no one goes Aegis Slash on this turn. He's staying in. He thinks we're choice. He definitely thinks we're choice. He poisoned us. Think about it. He goes, okay. That's fine with me. Um, I'm scared of a defog. Defog removes both sides. Though. We'll go cure him, yeah. Hydro, okay. That's chill with me. We'll go for the freeze dry now. Actually, why would we freeze dry? We can just Draco this shit. Yeah, no. Draco's going to do more to everything. Oh, we miss. And he paints. Oh, that's really. Okay, we're going to actually predict the, um, the Blissey to come back. And we're going to go ahead and go to... Um, Heracross here now. No, actually, we'll just Draco. It's fine. Ah, uh, that was really unfortunate, though. We would have killed... Oh, it goes Aegis Slash. Oh, man. This is looking really unfortunate. We're going to go Tar, though. Um, hopefully, he goes for a Shadow Ball, because we're in range. Um, and not a close combat. This could be really bad, though. Um, he goes for Flash Cannon. All right, but we are quicker. No, we're actually slower, but he's spec, so... We go to our own Aegis Slash. It's fine. Um... Yeah, Aegis Slash is foolproof here. He goes, okay. Um, we're gonna, we're kind of scared of Wisp. We're just gonna Shadow Ball this, yeah. All right, we take it out with Shadow Ball after Stand. That's amazing. All right, that's a pretty big kill there, actually. And we can King Shield in case he goes Serena and block the um, knockoff. And then he can't spin into us. So that's great, too. But he's gonna probably spin eventually because he should be quicker than everything else. It seems like not well built, guys. Oh, he goes Blissey? Okay. We're gonna actually go close combat into it once just to see how much it does. It probably does like 45 50, honestly. That still did 54. That's so funny. And he's seismic toss. What is this, man? Organized Shadow Ball here, watch. Um, now we're gonna close combat. Yeah, it, it's a roll, so we're gonna go for it. Because we're getting his roll. I've decided if he stays in, we are 100% getting his roll. There's zero chance this Blissey lives. I've decided it. And when I decide things, I mean, I'm just never wrong. So it's just what's going to happen here. I've been wrong. I've been very, very wrong, guys. Um, it turns out that the decisions that have been made have not been optimal decisions. All right, we'll go Tar here, though. Is he goes soft boiled? That's chill. Um, we don't have 100 people. Uh, we'll just go close combat. We'll go superpower. It's fine. 
Um, that does 78. Okay. That's chill. Anyway, now we're going to go to the... Uh, we're losing. We're losing to Ndidi, aren't we? 317. Okay, slower than this, actually. We'll go Aegis Slash to take this out with the... Um, the Iron Head should take it out. Yeah. I right, protect all you want. That's fine. Um, I don't see why he preserve this anyway. It's dead, it's dead to Ice Beam even, so... Yeah. Yeah, we take it out. Okay, that's chill. And now we get the momentum because Aegis Slash delicious. He goes to Ndidi. Okay. So... We can also stop sand turns out against it, so yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's sand ran out. Okay, crap. One for expanding force. Well, okay, I don't think it's scarf. If it's scarf, we lose. Um, don't be scarf. It's scarf. We lose. Okay, good game. All right. Um, uh, my bad there, guys. I'll just see if this lives. Then Draco Miss probably screwed us in the long haul, but yeah, no, it's unfortunate. Be that way sometimes. Anyway, we'll get one or two more. I'm pausing here. All right, we're back in it. We're against um, an inappropriate name that we're not going to say. Um, looking at this team here, we're going to go ahead and lead with Rabambi to bait in the Hatterene. And we'll just go Moonblast turn one. Hopefully he switches. Actually, we'll U-turn turn one in case he switches. Because that We can bring Karaman if he stays in. All right, this man was fine with webs up, so I'm fine getting my Karaman and just spamming this shit. Oh, yeah, that was talking. That was deserved. We're going to go freeze dry here. I wonder if he even knows it as freeze dry. Random SUU ladder plays might not know, but he's got Aegis Slash and Heracross. So this man's in the know, actually. Shit, he's definitely going to go to um, Aegis Slash. He's not letting this sit in. No way in hell. Um, yeah, no, I'm just going to go for it anyway, though. It's the best play. Yeah, and he stays in. Okay, that works for me. So Kyurem is just on a rampage. Um, see, Kyurem, someone upset him by not using Minoyu. Someone didn't let him out of the pen. Oh, this man just... Oh, my God, he forfeited. Oh, my Lord. All right, one more game after this. All right, last game is over here. Sorry if this has been a little choppy, but I've been linking people in my Discord, the games. Um, if you want to join the Discord, I'll try to leave a link in the description. And if you don't get it there, then just comment, and I'll be sure to link you guys there. So, yeah, we got over 300 people in my Discord for my YouTube channel. It's amazing. Definitely check that out. Anyway, it looks like we're playing some threats here. We're going to go ahead and lead Rabambi. Hopefully, don't lose... Like, he lose Noivern. Noivern's slower, so we can just go Moonblast. Yeah, it's fine. And Moonblast also break the... Um, the Gale Wings on Talon Flame. So yeah, it's kind of win-win-win. Hopefully it doesn't go. Oh, he just stays in and just lets it. Okay, that's like a threat to web seems like gone right off the bat. This man deals Talon Flame. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a sticky web. If he kills it, it goes sword. Okay, that's fine with me. Now we'll just go stun spore. He's gonna Oh moon blast in case. He fl oh, wait a minute. We might we might be in threatening territory, guys. I might have messed up. Don't do it, kill me. Like, why would he? What is this man doing? Why would he flame charge again? Hello? Oh man, Acrobatics is not doing it. Oh, he wanted to citrus bear. Okay, this is like some tech ass set right here. Agency. Oh, come on. Another. Okay, fine. One more game, guys. One more. I don't want to end on a forfeit. All right, well, hopefully we can get a legit game in here. Have fun. Um, what's our ranking? We're like probably 6 1, 7 1. 6 1. We're 11. Okay. All right, 11 3. This guy's our ranking. He's basically us. He doesn't have any removal, though. Yeah, this is a video. Last game of the video. Make it count. Ah, we got someone who knows the channel. That's it's lit, guys. I guess you even recognize it all. That's what I like to see. Um, hopefully, indeed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lead our Bombi. We're going to predict a taunt here in Moonblast turn one. He goes Jirachi. It looks like it's taking leftovers, so I'm okay just going for the sticky whip here because webs look amazing against this man's team. He takes us out with an Iron Head. That is fine. Now we can go Aegis Slash and fire up a Shadow Ball. It is only resisted by the Grim Snarl, which is going to be slower and weak to Iron Head. So I'm thinking this is a pretty fine setup for us here. He goes to the Tracheon, but after webs, um, oh no, we're going to um, we're going to go Heracross here, picking the Earthquake or Stealth Rock. Yeah. If he goes Stone Edge, he goes. Okay, that's perfect. And now, um, that is. I think that's banded damage. So we're going to go ahead and um, knock off here, predicting the Aegis Slash. And he goes Mimikyu. That works too because we get the Life Orb off. Yeah, and we can't touch him with the other moves. So we're going to go ahead and go um, hard Aegis Slash on this as he goes for the player off. And now we can um, we can iron it here, predicting the Grim's Gnarl. And also kills this and his Tracheon and Conkleder decently hard as well. So yeah, no way goes to the one of the two Ghost Resist. That's kind of how I see it. Um, if he Shadow Sneaks this, it's no big deal. But yeah, being broken is pretty important the um, disguise is actually kind of threatening to our team. 
Uh, cause maybe cause decent in Yu-Yu, despite being a complete shithead in OU, so it's funny. Um, yeah, though, looking pretty good. He goes sneak, that's fine, 31% chip, no big deal. But I can go back to track after this, now we know it's choice band, we can scout out the moves. Um, Age of Slash and Kyrim have really been the MVPs in this. Heracross has been pretty nice all, as well, but track down hasn't done a ton. I mean, it just came in and killed shit. I guess that's really all you want. All right, he goes Conk. We're just going to King Shield because we can. Knock off lowers its attack. Um, yo, actually, do we want to go Heracross in this and preserve this? Yeah, we're going to go Heracross and preserve this. He goes Knock Off. Yeah, we should live a mock. Uh, I don't think we're living a mock punch. Ah, uh, wow, I fucked up. It's fine. We'll go close combat in case he doesn't go mock punch. Yeah, we'll go close combat here. Oh, he stays in and just lets it take 75%. That is amazing, guys. Drain Punch is going to, of course, take us out. But now that the threat is weakened, we could go to Aegis Slash and be sure to Revenge Kill easily with our um, Shadow Ball. Yeah, and that's great. Okay, so now we're up. Um, well, it's 4-4, four, four, but we got webs and you got nothing. So it's looking pretty good. It's just a matter of taking out Jirachi, which we should be fine with. He goes Jirachi here. It takes the webs, though. I don't think he's max speed, so we're just going to Shadow Ball. Hopefully it's slower. Yeah, we're quicker, and we actually take it out from 91. That's amazing. Aegis Slash is just putting in the work. Oh, my Lord. You, you did not know what hit him today, guys. I'm telling you, I don't normally bring you guys the Lord to your lives, but this was like a mandatory exception. We're also going to get some NU stuff soon, so be sure to keep that in mind. But, um, yeah, no, looking great. Looking great for sure. Um, hmm. Grim Snarl. All right, we're just going to Iron Head it if he screens, he screens. Oh, he doesn't even screen. He just lets... Oh, it, 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 oh, it flips. Oh, unfortunate. All right, we'll just go for the trade here. We go Shadow Ball in case he goes Aegis Slash, I guess. Uh, my bad for the flinch, though. Yeah, no. Anyway, he's got two left, so we're just going to go ahead and clean it out with... Um, well, we'll go Tyranitar first, because Tyranitar needs some love, guys. Use this mod in OU. Holy crap, I'm missing him real bad. He goes Aegis Slash. We're just going to go for the crunch here. There's a nice 64%. Yo, who wants to flex? Superpower into the track gun. Who superpowers with me? Come on. You already know what's happening. He's going to random. Nah. We, we just we just look like an idiot. It's fine, though. Because Cherim should clean out the game now. Um, yup. Cherim's going to get that earth power in there. And now we're going to be able to re revenge kill Tyranitar. Terrakion. So we finish it with how we started. Good games. Hope you guys enjoyed. You, you. Let me know what you think of all the drops. Let me know what you think of this live. I'll leave the team in the description, even though it's probably going to be banned within the next day. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.